What a beautiful people. It's your boy. Um, so let me make this video real quick. I don't know I haven't posted um, any uh, videos. I haven't uh, did any podcasting yet. I've been waiting for some stuff to come in, and it still hasn't come in come in yet. But um, I just wanted to make this video. Um, I hope you know what I mean. You guys will, will watch it and, and and get something from it. I also hope that you um, will share, you know, share the video, um, check out our uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, I'm, you know, um, I'm going to be posting this on YouTube as well as on my Instagram and um, Facebook page, but um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, we haven't posted anything up there yet, I'm going to put the link um in the comment section so that you could go ahead over there and subscribe i mean i got all these friends on facebook i got all these friends on instagram i mean it's only a couple hundred but um because i haven't uh, i just opened up my pages because i kept everything private due to my private life and um i wasn't uh trying to build uh my uh my uh ministry if you will because to me this is ministry i wasn't trying to build my ministry i'm trying to build it now I want to build a ministry, a family-oriented ministry. I want to deal with family relationships and different things like that. And when I say ministry, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to constantly beat you in the head with Bible. Um, although I believe in the Bible, I believe in the Word of God, I believe in uh, Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. I'm not trying to beat people in the head with just my beliefs. I'm trying to uh, build relationships with people in the community, in the African-American community, as well as in other communities. Um, I don't, I don't um, discriminate against people and uh, what they believe in. You know, you believe in what you believe in, and that's what you believe in. I respect you. I respect your beliefs. Let's sit down. Let's talk about it. Let's um, learn from each other uh, because we are we are a nation of different cultures. We're a nation of, of different uh, ideologies and different beliefs. We're a nation of, 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 of differences, and our differences is what makes us special. So when people... Uh, you know dislike a person because of their differences or ostracize a person because of their differences or marginalize a person because of their differences that saddens me and it, and honestly it makes me angry it makes me upset it makes me uh i want to figure out why why that's why i study psychology that's why i went to school for psychology that's why i have a degree in psychology because i wanted to understand how the mind works and why people do what they do um, and and I, I think I learned some things. No, I'm not certified. No, I'm not bo a, a board certified psychologist because I chose not to go that route. I didn't want to go um, and do a, um, a practicum for three years unpaid and all of that stuff. Um, I went to school for psychology because I wanted to learn about me. I wanted to learn about my community. And I also wanted to learn how to help. And, uh, and, all, and, and, and truth be told, a lot of people don't like going to go see psychologists, which is okay. But a lot of people are spiritual. A lot of people um, try to. A lot of people look for and search for spiritual things and spirituality. And for me, I incorporate spirituality into what it is that I do. You know. Um, so yes, and I I am looking to find a a, a ministry to. To, to go under, to grow, and to help other people grow without, again, ostracizing anyone. With all of that being said, and I hope that you stayed around to listen to what it is that I feel like I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about what's going on in um, our movement in, in Black Lives Matter and, and all of this other stuff that's going on today. You know, I believe that all Black Lives Matter. I believe Black Lives Matter all the way around the board. I'm not understanding uh, all of this other stuff that's going on. Maybe somebody can school me. Maybe somebody can educate me. But I don't believe that blue is a life. Um, but I, I say that to say we don't have Smurfs running around. If you see Papa Smurf, Smurf Brainy Smurf, or any of those guys 
then come on, let me know, and I'll say that. Blue is a occupation. It's a job. You can take off your uniform, and now you are either black, white, Asian, Hispanic, whatever it is. Whatever it is, whatever your ethnicity is, whatever your race is, whatever you are, that's what you are when you take that uniform off. So blue to me is an occupation. It's not a person. It's not a color. Uh, it is a color. I'm sorry. It's not a person. It's a color. It's an occupation. Blue lives matter unless you're Smurf. If you're Smurf, then I apologize for um, ostracizing you. I apologize for uh, saying that your life doesn't matter because your life truly matters papa brainy smurfette whatever it matters sorry forgive me now also something else that's bothering me and i love and i support and i give give all love and respect to the lgbtq community qi community um i, I believe um i i got it right but when we say that gay is the new black we do black people a disadvantage gay is not the new black because guess what you have white gay people asian gay people um, um, um black gay people latina latino gay people latina and latino gay people you have um arab gay people you have all types of gay people so to say that gay is the new black does black people a disservice and, 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 and puts black people at a, a disadvantage. So please stop saying that. It, it makes no sense to me. It really does not. You are gay and you should be proud of that if you are gay. And, and, and you're gay and you're proud. I, okay, you're a, a lesbian and you're proud. You're transgender and you're proud. Be that, I'm not taking that from you. That's you. That's how you believe. That's how you feel. Some people believe it's a choice. Some people believe that you're born that way. Uh, the science is still out and people are still looking into it. But whatever. That's your feeling. That's how you feel. That's how you want to live. Then do you. But please stop saying that gay is the new black. Black people went through a lot of suffering and a lot of pain. African Americans suffered in this country. Yes, gay people suffered in this country. I'm not taking that away from you. You had to hide who you were for so many years. And now that you're out, fine, be out. But I can't hide my blackness. I can't hide it. It is no way for me to hide my blackness. And nor would I want to. And nor should you have to hide your gayness. If that's what it is, then do it, be it, love it. But don't, don't say that gay is the new black. It's not. It's not. It's this is 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 disheartening to me. We have to be careful with that. Now to talk about our transgender community. Listen, I hate what's going on in the transgender transgender community no one should be hurting or killing anyone no one again should ever be ostracized or be made to feel ashamed of who and what they are however to tell someone that they are transphobic or homophobic because they choose to live as a heterosexual or cisgender male or female is wrong now you're ostracizing me for my heterosexualness or my straightness or being a cis cisgender male no that's just as bad as as saying you know um honestly all lives ma all lives matter when i'm talking about a black life matter situation and, and honestly, I believe that all Black Lives Matter, but the organization as a whole, I have some things that I do not agree with in that organization. For one, dis, talking about dismantling the cisgender home or making it seem like there's something wrong with people that live as they were born. No. If I was born a male and I wanna, and I wanna, uh, um, 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 recognize myself as a male then that's something wrong no there's nothing wrong with that we have to do better when when we when we're talking about 
organizations and people and and things and not making other people feel some type of way and then people will say well uh, we lived in a misogynistic society for all this long period of time or whatever which is true we did however black men in general yes the black family as a whole but i'm speaking on black men issues because we have so many people that speak on black women issues and i'm not taking anything from that but me as a black man i suffer just as much if not and and i don't want to say if not more but think about what i'm trying to say black women as a minority as a woman they can get and go into places that i myself as a minority black male can't get into Society has placed a black woman over the black man for, for so many different reasons and caused so many divisions within the black family that we forget that black men go through hurt and pain just as much. So when we try to when we, we're doing a movement and we and we don't mention and we say it's a Black Lives Matter movement and we don't mention the fact that black heterosexual men have suffered we're doing that movement a disjustice, right? Because black men suffer, and then someone say, "Oh well, then you you need to make a movement for black men." Okay, when we do make movements for black men, which we really don't, because we believe in incorporating the whole family in a movement as black men, at least the black men that I know. We see our women run to go to a whole nother movement and leave us standing alone because the government makes it easy that way. It's called divide and conquer. When you divide the family, when you take away the male essence in the family and then tell a woman she can be that, then you do the family a disjustice. You need both, fam both parents in the household whether you need both parents in the household, the male and the female, that's what it is. Again, I'm not taking anything away from anyone else in their movement. I support whoever supports themselves and are trying to do something to uplift their community, their beliefs and their agenda, as long as it's not trying to take from me, as long as it's not trying to hurt me, as long as it's not trying to hurt someone else. So we have to do better with these movements and these vision and mission statements. When I've read the move, the, the vision and mission statements of the move of the, of the organization, the Black Lives Matter organization, it made me scratch my head because I said, well, Dad, I'm not mentioned in this. And some of you will say, well, you don't have to be mentioned. It. Why not? If it's a Black Lives Matter, I'm black. My life matter. So that statement should be all inclusive to all black people, male, female, gay, straight, lesbian, whatever, queer, questioning. It shouldn't just be centered around a certain group of black people. Now you're taken away from the whole movement. And I understand if black lives matter, why all lives matter? If black lives matter, Asian lives matter, white lives matter, Latina and Latinas lives matter. They all matter, right? So if for those people that's listening and they say, oh, oh he talking about his black, we're not, listen, we're not going there right now. We're talking about how we need to be inclusive as a people and, and, and not be so div divisive. We, we divide ourselves. We divide ourselves from by color we divide ourselves by um uh cultural differences we divide ourselves by sexuality sexual orientation we divide ourselves and then we look at the world around us and talk about well, what, what they're doing we gotta do better my heart hurt when i read that and maybe i read it wrong help me understand if you're looking at this pass it on to somebody that can help me understand or come on a podcast, reach out to me. We can sit and we can have a conversation about what's going on. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I've been wrong before. And I apologize for my wrong. But I need you to help me understand what's going on. Talk to y'all later. 
You can do all things through Christ that gives you strength. I love you with the love of God and ain't nothing you can do about it. Peace. Spread the message.